Waking up for a reason and living to see another day is one of the greatest feelings in the world. Add to that a Raptors victory and being able to gloat about it at work is an extra added bonus. The Raptors only dress nine men, and one man who will be getting the boot at the end of the season most likely will be Julian Wright, who wiped down his sweaty palms for legitimate minutes. Sure, he blatantly turned the ball over on his first pass attempt, but what was Coach A. Triano really going to do? He was dead set on a seven-man rotation. I did feel at ease and had peace with the world when the Raptors were on top throughout the game. I mean, they have won five of the last seven games against the Nets and were about to tie the season series. But just like many Raptor fans out there, the fourth quarter always gives me anxiety, especially when Vujicic drains an open three and the Raptors' lead is cut to seven with just two and a half minutes to play in the game. But with only 19 guys dressed for both teams, the Raptors managed to pull off the victory and of course out-rebounded, yes, out-rebounded the New Jersey Nets 45-31. to Can you actually believe it? What a great acquisition Brian Colangelo made when he got James Johnson from the Chicago Bulls who has just provided us with that extra added defense and offensive ability that the Raptors were lacking. Needless to say that there's lots of work to be done. But James Johnson did say that they were on a slump and that they were not playing with their hearts, but they needed to finish off the season strong, especially for the fans. Up next is a game against the Bucks who are not going to the playoffs and who look to sweep the Raptors season series for the first time in nine years. But let's hope that doesn't happen because I still need to win my bet. Until next time from Inside the Purple Room, I'm Pyle and I will see you again.